Hey everyone, I hope you are finding yourself blessed in the presence of the Lord today. He greater is he in us than he that's in the world. A good scripture for this time that we're in. Uh, I got something even better though than that, which is that um, this is we're a tremendous place right now. Right after uh, the beginning of Passover, first I want to say I did make a video two days ago, three days ago, including today, explaining why I took the video down of uh, the date setting. And I and I, but I can't go into it because it wouldn't load, so I had to keep this short. But uh, all is well, you know. I talked to Tim. He didn't. He didn't know the history I'd been through with accusations of date setting and all that. But everything's fine. And so, um, so I wanted to tell you. I just got this email from a brother who he just sent me this list of all of the days that in the Bible of Nisan 17 of what happened. Now we know Jesus rose on the on Nisan 17, okay? Which is actually going to be the 11th of this month. And starting the 10th at sunset in Israel because of the di time difference. So, I wanted to just run by you this list of events. All of them relate to entering into the promised land. They relate to total deliverance from bondage. Um, leaving Egypt, you know, crossing the Red Sea, crossing the Jordan, uh, Queen Esther. Uh, it's it's an amazing time. It's an amazing day of of all history. The day Jesus rose from the dead, and we have every reason to watch and pray and hope that He would deliver us on this same historical day. So um, let me give you the list and. God bless you all. Um, I'm sorry the videos haven't been loading, but pray this well, quickly, in Jesus' name. Love you guys, and uh, until later. All right, so I'm going to start with a list of what is happening, what has happened on Nisan 17th in the Bible. Okay, Noah's Ark safely rested on Mount Ararat, Genesis 8-4. Note that the seventh month was later designated as the first month at the time of Exodus. Exodus 12 and 2. Okay, second thing. Hebrews entered Egypt, Exodus 12 and 40 through 41, 430 years before deliverance. Third, Moses led the Israelites through the parting of the Red Sea, Exodus 3.18 and 5.3. Fourth thing, Israel entered and ate the first fruits of the promised land, Joshua 5.10 through 12. The next one, the cleansing of the temple by Hezekiah, 800 years after entering the promised land, 2 Chronicles 29.1 through 28. And the next one is Queen Esther saved the Jews from elimination. Esther chapter 3, verse 12, and 5, verse 1. And the last, but not least, the most glorious of all, the resurrection of the Messiah, took place on Nisan 17 as well. Here's the calendar for Israel, Nisan the month of April. We've got the 17th of Nisan is the 11th of April. What's really interesting about that is that you've got a 117, which is a really biblical number rapture watchers know, uh, notice a lot. And then if you flip it around, it's in, it being the seventh month, you got a 711. So you got a 711 and a 117 right there. So this is Saturday. Of course, this will start on the 10th at sunset in Israel. Anyway, looks like a high watch to me.